In this movie, we're going to talk about the ability to have a 180 degree entry exit when you're doing an engrave or an open contour offset toolpath. And where something like this might be handy is if you're doing uh, some type of a fluted column. So uh, what we'll do is we'll come here and draw a rectangle that will represent our size part. I'm choosing a rectangle construction and I'm going to go with a width of uh, 36, a height of 8, and I'll just place this on screen. Uh, so I have my, my size here. I'll move it to the lower left-hand corner by hitting the control and the number pad from the right of the keyboard. Now, uh, this is an 8-inch wide part, so I'm going to come here to the partial contour offset, and I have my value set here at 2. I'm going to click on this side and hit uh, towards the middle. Click on this side and hit towards the middle. Now I'll click on one of the ones I just created and click again towards the middle. And now I have all three of these uh, lines here. And uh, I actually might want to come here and let's say I want to offset two inches from the sides as well. I can just come here and create two offsets. Now, there might be an easier way to draw this, but I'm just uh, using a few different tools here. And uh, now I'm going to trim this by boundaries, all boundaries. And we can just go through here and remove the little sections we don't want. Put the cursor right over there and click and it will disappear. So uh, now we see I, I typically would like to have my my uh, flutes here, my, my geometries heading in the same direction to get a uniform cut. So let's reverse the open contours here so they're all pointing the same direction. Um, now we would be able to come here and uh, select our, our parts and we're going to go to the toolpath menu and say open contour offset. So here I need to select from the... Uh, the tool I want to choose, and I'm, I'm only viewing my ball nose tools here, and I'm going to choose a one half inch ball nose tool. I'm going to enter my depth of 0.25, and uh, I want to go down the middle of this, this line, so I'm going to check middle. And now when I come here and, and click on these uh, three dots to open the cut definition for this specific tool, I'm going to see my entry exit right now, my entry exit right now is at none. So let's say we wanted to do a line entry, and let's just do a two inch entry, zero degree angle, and make it a 3D line, which means it's gonna ramp into the part. Again, two zero degree angle and check 3D line. All right, I'm not gonna worry about my uh, feed rates here. Uh, just uh, go ahead and hit this and say okay. And uh, what we can see here is, is it will actually extend that two inches to the end of the part and it's gonna create kind of a of a little uh, taper at the end of each of these lines. And so uh, this would prevent me from doing this. And uh, in the previous version of Enroute, I can only go up to a 90 degree angle here. So it was causing a problem to do a 3D entry on this sort of a thing. And we've now allowed it so that you can go to a 180 degree angle on your entry and your exit. And by doing so, you'll allow the bit to plunge in on top of the line uh, and then go to its cut depth and then transverse down the, uh, down the path. So if we want to do a little simulation here, I'll, t I'll click my outer geometry. I have uh, use selected contours and mask applied. I'm going to hit my play button. And uh, we can shade it in here now. And we can see it did not take long to cut this. So uh, we can see here that the parts are uh, created and we do not have any tapered effect because we're able to ramp in on the, on the line at 180 degree angle and then traverse down the part. So uh, this has been the change to the entry exit parameters and you can now use an 180 degree entry exit on an open contour offset within Route 5.